I'm Grattles, and welcome to a new episode of the City Planner Plays One Tile Challenge in City Skylines. So yeah, I know the challenge is over. This I started for fun, and I'm still working on it. So I'm doing little by little. And if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share. Um, this is going to be a fun episode because I'm going to do parks. So I'm going to use the Parks DLC, and we're going to put in a zoo and an amusement park. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So before we get started on the parks, I wanted to run a bus line down into the high density to bring it up to the other neighborhoods. I'm still working to get a city center going. And to get City Hall, I need a lot more transportation going. So we definitely need the bus anyway, so why not? So we're going to move to this area and this is where we're going to build our zoo. It's a nice big space and eventually I'm going to put some residents on the other side. And this episode is going to be not with too many chapters because I do bounce around quite a bit as, as things level up. So you'll see me putting in the zoo, then you'll see me jumping over to the amusement park and things and we'll do little things in the episode as we need so but we do get the zoo and the amusement park to level five so yeah stick around and uh, see what comes of it So next I'm just going to jump in and buy these two tiles along the coast. So now that I unlock the tiles I can terraform some of this area down on the coast and it's right by our high density to prepare for our amusement park. So now our zoo leveled up and we're ready to put in the two new assets. So I head back to the zoo and I go ahead and put them in and then we'll go back to working on the amusement park. So now we head back down to our high density area and I start running in some roads. Now one of the DLCs uh, that came with like a package and stuff was the Concerts DLC and yet it's never worked on the PS4 and it was always one of those DLCs that I would love to have. So now that I'm on PC I was checking it out and I'm going to go ahead and use that concert venue down over in here overlooking the coast here and that's exactly where I'm going to put the amusement park in the background. So next I just start terraforming uh, the coast a little bit more and I want to bring it out just so everything's a little bit more level and then I'll smooth it down once I get everything placed. So we hit Colossal City. So that's pretty cool. I wasn't even paying attention to the milestones and there you go. So that's pretty exciting because we open up more stuff. But right now I'm just solely focused on this area in here. So next I just jump in and start painting the area for the amusement park. Next I place a main gate and then also a side gate. And this unlocks the assets so we could start placing them into our park. 
So next I head over to here and I'm looking to kind of recreate like a Coney Island, Jersey Shore feel with the boardwalk and the look of the amusement park on the boardwalk. So yeah, I uh, it's it wasn't easy to do because with the boardwalk, the European or any any kind of boardwalk, and you bring it down to the surface of the ground, it turns into a path. So you kind of have to raise it up and then raise the terrain up to the boardwalk, and then you, it keeps the same look. So yeah, I had to kind of work this in, but I also wanted to terraform the terrain just right to the edge so it was not easy but I did get it to work and it looks quite nice and I hope you like it as much as I do and I'm not gonna lie um, I'm from New York and boy I was trying to tone my accent down when I said boardwalk but I, I can't so I tried but it is what it is So now that I placed the assets down, you can see there's a little gap between the ground and the boardwalk or the walking path. Maybe I should just start saying walking path because it sounds better. Um, so what I do is I raise the terrain up to the height of, yeah, like that. I, I didn't, I don't know. I'm still getting used to the strength and stuff, but it's fine, it works. So I'm raising it up, uh, though they can access the um, assets, um, I did not like the gap there. So I do bring the terrain up and then I replace everything down. So I actually move every single asset and then put them back just so it lines up better.
so next our zoo leveled up once more and we go ahead and add the assets in and we got the sea life one which is really nice we can put that on the water although with the water moving it does bump up and down up and down so you kind of have to work it around to get it in then i think we got the elephants and the flamingo enclosure so we go ahead and put all of them in make sure the paths all line up and then we go and head back down to our amusement park Here our amusement park leveled up and we got the rotating teacups and the piggy ride. So we'll go ahead and put that in next. So here we are back down at the amusement park and we're going to go ahead and put in those piggy rides and the rotating teacups and hopefully we level up quite quickly. So next in the parks part, I remember we have the beach volleyball, so I thought that would be really cool to put on the beach as well. It does add like a nice element to it, I think. So while waiting for everything to level up, I start doing a little detailing in front of the concert. And the next thing I know, my college is up. So I notice the attractiveness is low. So I go ahead and I add a couple more dorms. Next I head back to continue detailing the front. And before I knew it, the zoo leveled up. So we head back down to the zoo and we go ahead and add the two new assets and we're close to level five we just hit level four and uh, we go ahead and put them in and yeah we're well on our way Next we head back down to the amusement park and I just add the fence along the front of the amusement park here just to close it in a little bit and so people can't walk through. Not that they can in the game, they need a walking path, but I think it just looks nicer. So again, because I was waiting so long for the amusement park and the zoo to level up, I thought I would, well, I knew from the beginning I wanted to run ferries around the island. But um, because I don't have all the tiles unlocked just yet, I can't run the, the path because it runs into the corners of the locked tiles. So I just go ahead and I start setting up the ferries where I want them and the ferry depot. And then later on when we hit our milestone and we can unlock all the rest of the tiles, I'll be able to run the path. Keep in mind I do turn off all the assets uh, for the ferries so this way we're not paying any maintenance. So our amusement park leveled up and we got the swinging boats, the house of horrors, and the bumper cars. So we go ahead and just place these in and then we get back to the ferries.
So yay, our zoo hit level 5 and we get the rhinos and the lions. So we can complete this zoo. So that's exciting. Next I just go in with the same type of tree as the assets have and kind of fill in the space just so it looks nice and rich and full. So next our amusement park hit level 4. So let's go ahead and put the assets down in here. After that I was looking at this space and I want to make this a small bit of tourism right by the amusement park so I can go ahead and put in some high density hotels and uh, yeah it will make the space look really nice. Next our college leveled up so we're able to put in the fountain, the outdoor study, the gymnasium and the cafeteria. So oops we must have had a fire and I was not paying attention. So <laughs> I go ahead and I delete these and I put in some new ones. So I don't know when this happened uh, but that's what happens when you're not paying attention. At least it wasn't worse, it could have been worse. So. I go ahead and I fix that and I also go ahead and put on a district so I can make this helicopter priority and I put in a helicopter depot so this way you know, the fire depot so this way you know hopefully it'll be saved later on if it happens again so we'll see. So here we hit Metropolis yay! Next I add the media broadcast building. It boosts ads and campaigns by 20%. So finally our amusement park hit level 5 and we get the roller coaster and the ferris wheel. So that's going to conclude the episode for today and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I love the Parks DLC. It's one of my favorites. It's got so many detailed things and adding the concerts down here is awesome. 
it just meshes so well so again if you like my content would like to see more please click that like button subscribe comment and share and i'll leave you off with a few screenshots and an ending so i hope you like bye mm -hmm.